Hey guys, how you doing today? Look at my beautiful bird nest ferns. I absolutely love this plant. I have had this plant so many different times in my life and I have managed to kill it because I, I just, I think I know what I was doing wrong. So I'm going to tell you today what I think was happening with this plant, why I kept killing it, and hopefully you can avoid the same mistakes. You can see how beautiful and big these leaves are. They're gorgeous. And you can see all of, look at all of the new, oops, I get tangled up here. Look at all of the new beautiful leaves coming out right here. Look at those. She's got three. I love how they start opening when they come out. See them right here? Now I've got this plant kind of tilted so you can see her better, but look at the beautiful, it's like a bronzy reddish color that you can see. And if you look at the back of the leaves, it's even more prominent, but eventually as this plant gets more mature, it gets this fishtail. See the fishtail on it? I love that. But, oh, just so gorgeous. Oh, she wants to hang down. Okay. So, Make sure my camera, let me back off a little bit here. So you can see the whole plant. I've got my nippers under my Lazy Susan because it keeps rolling. Or it keeps rolling around and it won't stand still. That is because my plant room goes at a slant. It slants downwards. So... <laughs> Every, everything is, uh, maybe that's why my plants grow crooked and wonky. Because <laughs> my plant room is wonky. So I always have to be careful. Um, anyways. This is an absolutely gorgeous plant. And I, I don't know how many of these I've killed in my lifetime. A lot. Unfortunately. I've had the curly... One, I've had, I think it's Chrissy, I've had, I don't know, I've had all different kinds. I've had this one several times. But what I did when I potted this up, I don't know if this made a difference or not. I think it did. It's the first time I ever did it. And it's the first, this is the first time so far, knock on wood, that I haven't killed a bird nest fern. But I was getting a lot of water down in the crown, not realizing that I was rotting the plant out. Not sufficient air, too much water in the crown, not enough humidity for those plants. Well, actually, I don't know if humidity has a whole, whole lot to do. Maybe a little bit, but I wouldn't go overboard with saying humidity killed it, lack thereof. But um, I think I was just getting way too much water down in the crown. So what I did when I got this one... I potted her at an angle, and you can see she is at an angle. I do have my pot tilted for the video so you guys can see her better. Um, that's why she's, you know, really tilted. But in here, where all those new growths were coming out, oops, I kind of lost them, is your crown of your plant. And if you're getting that wet, and especially if you don't have fans running or even if it's like outside, you know, and it's a windy, breezy day. I think that's how I kept killing it, was riding out the crown of the plant. But anyways, I potted her kind of crooked in her pot to keep the water so the water would run off of the crown, if you get what I mean. And... It, um, 
I think really helped dramatically and I just recently repotted her and I put her in straight I put her at a tiny bit of an angle but not at as much of an angle as what I did have her uh, which is why she's growing kind of wonky I'm trying I'm in the process now of trying to get her to straighten up <laughs> and go right but um, I kind of like the look of it and I absolutely adore these leaves you can see how big she is and I love how it gets this fishtail um, on the leaves it's it's just a really really beautiful plant but I keep her in pretty high light um, of obviously not direct sun because that would burn her but um, I keep her right now she is in a west window and I've got white shears up to that window and she gets light from a Mars Hydra grow light also so I've got her in quite a bit of light which is why she's got these new those two new three baby fronds coming up baby leaves and um, I, I think that's mostly the trick bright light very bright light as light as bright as you can get without sun burning her and she likes to stay moist so you do not want to let this plant dry out which was never my problem before when I had these types of bird nest fern because there's all different kind of types no I don't see a tag in here I got I think I got this plant from either like Lowe's or Walmart those are usually the only two places where I shot for plants around here because that's the only places around here close to me um, but I'm thinking I got her at Lowe's and I've had her for about three years now ish maybe two I don't know I really can't remember but when I got her she was pretty small and I, I hadn't had one for a few years because I kept seeing them and I thought oh god I just I kill these over and over and over again you know it just <laughs> seemed like I was tell I I just kept telling myself no I'm just gonna take it home and, and kill it and but finally I seen this one the white leafed one and they had a couple of the wavy ones and I really didn't want that one again I really wanted this one I had seen somebody make a video on it and oh god their their burnout spring was just gorgeous and that started me all over again wanting this plant I just have to have this plant <laughs> oh gosh I'll tell you it's like a sickness <laughs> well it's not like a sickness it is a sickness for sure but um anyhow I've had her for two or three years now and she's doing beautifully knock on wood I hopefully I do not kill her especially now that I've, I've never grown one this big before so be careful if you have this plant or if you see it and you decide to get it keep her moist keep her in really bright light and do not water in the middle of the plant I will show you the crown right now so you know what I'm talking about okay guys this is the crown Oh, I hope you can see it. I only have two hands. But right in the middle of the plant, you'll see a really dark area. Right here. And it's kind of um, fuzzy. Not, not really fuzzy. It kind of feels and looks like spag moss, but really, really dark. Spag moss. I wish I could get Oh, there we go. That might be better. See it right here? That's where all the new fronds come out from. See these right here? All these new babies? That's where they're all coming out from. They come from the center of the plant. The, the back 
ones back here. Let me see if I can back up a little. Oops, I always go the wrong way like a dork. See the new fronds are coming right out of the crown of the plant. And then all of your older leaves are behind it, like this one. Oh, I have to back my camera up some more. But like this one right here, see how it has the dried edges? That's the older leaf. That one's the older leaf. They're all around the outside of the perimeter of the plant. Phew, that was a that was a that was a workout, Jesus. But um yeah, the older leaves are all on the uh, out on the perimeter of the plant. So those are the oldest ones and then all the ones in the center are the newer ones. So they come out of the center of that plant and that is where I have always ran into problems was getting that crown wet and then it would rot and then eventually the leaves would all fall off. So um, be very very careful of that. I just water around the edges. I don't even get anywhere close to the center of that when I water her. Um, I keep her evenly moist. I do not let this plant dry out. If you keep letting this plant dry out over and over again, she's going to have crispy leaves like crazy. Um, I've never had any issue with pests on this plant, not even when uh, wait, was this plant outside this summer? Oh god, it's snowing. Um, yeah, I did have her outside. I had her over with my anthuriums over by them. So she was in like a northwest corner. Um, but I, I kept her at an angle because I do water outside with a hose, so I have to be very careful, but... I planted her at an angle and then I also kept the pot at an angle. Um, so that way I would water at the side of the pot. Like saying, you know, you have your pot. Say this is your pot sitting straight. Angle it and then water up here and then let the water just come down. You know what I'm saying? But, um,. Hopefully. And then that, that seemed to help a lot too. And I think another mistake I made with this plant was it, I wasn't keeping her in bright enough light. I think was maybe another issue why it wasn't growing, why they weren't growing bigger when I had them before. I think I was keeping her in too much of a shadier position in my house. Um, when you got plants in your house, they can take a lot more light than you think they can. You just don't want them to have sun on them for any long amount of time. Um, it's like in my south window in my living room. Yeah, it's a south window, but I have a smoke tree out there, so I kind of get that dappled, I get a dappley sun in the summertime with all the leaves shading it and the branches shading it. And then in the wintertime, obviously there's no leaves on the trees, but your south sun in the winter is totally different than in the summertime. So, you know, I would still say be careful because you might have a really super sunny day and it still could do some damage. But I have shears up too, so that helps. Um, I'm all about having my shears up with growing in south and west windows. But I've never had a pest issue, like I was saying. Um, the only problem I have is a little bit of the tips drying on the leaves, but that doesn't really bother me. After they get so bad, I just cut them off. Actually, I just cut one off right before this video that was on the edge. This one right here. That'll get, that'll be what they kind of look like as they get older. And they start getting, this one wasn't super crispy, but you can see I had cut it before. You know, cut the crispiness off. But, um... 
so that is it guys my beautiful bird nest fern i absolutely love her and if you can see this i want to show you guys this too i think this is really cool but okay right here if you guys can see i hope you can because i can see it in my screen but look at the look at how the ripples are it's really um like a thin ripple and they're all tight together and then look at the veining see how the veining it comes down straight and then it splits goes one goes here oh you can't see one goes here and then one goes this way and that's how this leaf grew it had that split veining let me back my camera up a little bit good lord it's like a circus act trying to get show you guys what I'm doing here see how the veins split it comes down singly and then it splits and that's where that fantail comes from so I'm assuming if this leaf keeps growing it will have that it you can see it's kind of wonky if this one is really um, that one is really really pronounced in the fishtail or mermaid tail but I love and the leaves are not smooth they're they're very um they're like finely textured with all these little ripples you can see maybe through the light of this one how textured that it is look at that it's beautiful and then you've got that beautiful red, burgundy-ish, rusty color veining that goes through the leaf. There. <clears throat> Anyways, I took a couple of pictures of the leaf really close up. So I'm hoping they will show up in the photographs that I'll put in. Um right before I'm talking now hopefully those will show up if not disregard <laughs> I may not have got a very good shot even though I take like six pictures to get the best one but yeah I, I absolutely love this plant I'm so glad that I finally have grown her well because I've killed so many and I I wouldn't even want to guess how many I've killed because every I have an addiction with ferns I love them and I keep, even the same ones, I keep trying to buy over and over, even though I've killed them, like the rabbit foot fern, the maidenhair fern. I, I don't have those because I kill them every single solitary time I kill them. But one day I will find another one and I will probably buy it because, well, I have an issue, I have a problem. So, <laughs> I, I just don't want to give up. I want to try to figure it out. Because it kills me when I love a plant so much and I keep killing it and I can't get it figured out. Oh, and by the way, I also feed this fern. I give her fish fertilizer. But that's all I give her, so I, I can't say about anything else. But I would suggest if you use synthetic fertilizer that you do only a quarter strength on her. I, I wouldn't, or maybe like the pellet or the job sticks or anything like that would probably be okay, but I don't know. I don't use anything but fish fertilizer, so I can't really talk about anything else, but I would just say if you use anything than a, or anything other than an organic fertilizer to be very, very careful because these leaves are, I would assume, can be very touchy. I know mine get a lot of brown edging on them. Like you can see this right here I cut it at one point because it had a lot of brown on the end and but it they don't always get them it seems like it's the older leaves that get it first because that leaf is slowly dying back you know like all plants do they they lose their older leaves first die back and then you're getting you know 
new stuff. But, alright guys, I'm going to let you go. I will talk to you later, and you guys have a great day. Bye. Peace.